there was no glitch recorded on the AWS on the 25th of February 2023. The witness replied. So guys, yesterday's cross-examination session of the witness for the Labour Party by the opposition lawyers was one of the finest. The lawyers for INEC, APC, Tinubu and Shetima all came prepared only to see that the Labour Party witness was very tough as they tried to sway her with many questions. I mean, even questions that were outside the main bone of contention. But the witness shocked them with the kind of responses she gave. Let's dive straight into the full transcript for yesterday's proceedings. The justice were all seen seated and Justice Ada said, I hope today we will have full cooperation. Hmm. The clerk has announced the case and here is the representation. Peter Obi as usual represented himself and the Labour Party. S.A.N. Levy represented the Labour Party. S.A.N. A.B. Mahmoud represented INEC. S.A.N. Olanipekun represented Tinubu and Shetima, while S.A.N. Fagbemi represented the APC. The Labour Party lead counsel, S.A.N. Levy, was on his feet and he said to the presiding judge, My lord, with due respect, the cross-examination of the witness PW7 was too down to be continued today. So we want to quickly start with that today. My learned colleague, Equeto, would take charge of it. S.A. and Equeto now stood up on his feet and invited the witness to the stand. The witness is now on the stand and the counsel to INEC started the cross-examination. He asked the witness, I am looking at paragraph 6 of your expert witness where you set up the software and I suggest to you that you miss out on an important development. That is the post-production maintenance step of the development life cycle. You missed it out. The witness replied, I did not miss that out. Different companies have different development life cycles. Sometimes it is at the post-production stage that glitches appear. That is incorrect. It is at the testing stage, replied the witness. Are you aware of personal health dashboard? Yes, I am, the witness replied. And the INEC counsel said, in the personal health dashboard, and the witness cuts in the same information on the health dashboard is the same on the personal health dashboard and the INEC counsel said i did not ask you that sa and equator at this point was up on his feet and he said to the presiding judge my lord let her talk let me write her answer down and the presiding judge justice saman he said equator what's your problem S.A.N. Equator replied, My problem is that I want to write down her answers for the case, case for re-examination. And the presiding judge said, So what you are writing is better than what I'm writing, Equator. S.A.N. Equator replied, No, my lord, that's not what I'm saying. And the presiding judge said, Then maybe you should come and sit on my seat and let me stand up for you. And the presiding judge told the INEC counsel to continue. At this point, the INEC counsel was back on his feet and he said, The evidence you tend that speaks to different locations of the software. No, it is the same, replied the witness. AWS adopts the shared responsibility model of the security services. Correct, strictly on security, replied the witness. The report you tend that deals with the responsibility of AWS. And the witness replied and said, the report is to show the status of AWS services in all regions infrastructure and not related to security. And the INEC counsel said to the witness, you must have a different set of reports to access totally AWS. The witness said, I am only here to give my report opinion on AWS. The INEC counsel said, answer the question. Not necessary, replied the witness. I put it to you that it is necessary, said INEC counsel. Justice Samani cuts in, please, it's only the two of you that understand what you are doing. The whole court burst into laughter. Justice Ugo added and said, which one is dashboard? And the other one, it is only AWS we know. Mm -hmm. The INEC counsel at this point continued with the cross-examination and said to the witness, the report you brought to court has nothing to do with the application. And the witness replied the INEC counsel and said, the report I brought to court shows the health status of all AWS status. So guys, this is the main thing. She came to show them that 
everything was fine with their services as in there wasn't any glitch this is the main reason why this witness was brought to the court so let's continue the INEC council went further to ask her are you aware of the cloud tray yes i am replied the witness there is a cloud tray for the application used for INEC on the aws i do not work for INEC replied the witness there is a cloud tray the INEC council repeated the witness said there is a cloud tray for every api action made within the account and at this point one of the justices justice ugo said there is a cloud what again everyone started laughing the INEC council continued with his cross-examination and he said there is a cloud tray that locks every api action made within the account the cloud tray is not before the court the witness said no it is not and the INEC council said the cloud tray is the best to use to know what transpired and the witness said that is incorrect the health status report so you could see the INEC council teaching the witness that she's supposed to use the cloud tray to find out what happened and you know the witness was very smart very intelligent she quickly corrected the INEC council and said that is incorrect you use the health status report to know if anything went wrong with their services so guys you could see where they tried to move this witness to see if she will compromise her stance so she told the court that it is the health status report that will tell you if anything went wrong if there was any glitch or not and at this point before she could even finish telling them that it is the health status report that you use to determine if anything went wrong the INEC council quickly cut in i did not ask you that stick to what i asked hmm god you see they try to sway her to see if she would change her stance and the INEC council continued and said it is not unusual for glitches to occur and the witness said such glitches should be caught during the testing stage and at this point the presiding judge cuts in so what's your answer the witness said it is highly unusual for glitches on the primary testing stage to occur during production the INEC council continued and said are you aware of e naira glitches the witness said no i'm not aware and the INEC council went ahead to ask are you aware of mtn memo ps glitches no i am not aware re replied the witness you were a candidate of the labor party during the last election yes it is stated in my witness statement said the witness the subpoena you spoke about was not delivered to amazon no it was delivered to me you did not come here on the authority of amazon i am here as an expert witness i'm not here as an amazon staff replied the witness you are here as a labor party activist that is incorrect said the witness that would be all my lord so at this point the INEC council concluded his cross-examination and immediately the council to Tinubu and Shetima was up on his feet S.A.N. Olani Pekun and he said give her the so-called resume and letter of employment please and he continued there is no name on your employment letter that is not true replied the witness and the council to Tinubu continued employee resource center there is your name and not a human name it is a department that handles employment replied the witness and at this point san equator was up on his feet and the council to tinubu said please let me do my work this girl is here saying everything that she is not and saying things she did not say yesterday and at this point justice bolaji said equator you are disrupting the proceedings and the presiding judge also said why are you shouting no 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 like you are in a parliament you are in a court of law san equator said this is also a court of justice my lord don't say before he could say it justice other cuts in what are you teaching the junior lawyers equator you are wasting our time you have wasted time doing nothing don't let us take superior action against you everyone in the court shouted ha ah! hmm so guys you can see it's getting interesting at this point and san equator said no problem my lord the lawyer to tinubu is now up again and he continued thank you my lord witness is there a signature on your employment letter there is a phone number there you can use to verify the witness replied is there a signature there is no letter or id card 
AWS do not give identification cards. The witness replied him. There is no information that states anything about you. It states my appointment date, the witness tells him. This is not your first time in court, he asks the witness. Yes, I have been here a few times. You have a Twitter handle. Yes, I do. If I may remind you, your Twitter handle is... He made mention of the Twitter handle. The witness replied him, yes. You have been here a few times watching the proceedings. The witness said, yes, I've been here a few times to see the tendering of documents. And you have covered things about this court in your Twitter handle. That is incorrect, replied the witness. You have submitted a lot of information to the court and I suggest you downloaded them. The reports are publicly available information from AWS, replied the witness. The reports are not your product. They are my product. I brought them to the court, replied the witness. The whole court is now shouting. Oh, and the lawyer to Tinubu continued. Madam, madam, you put it there and you said it earlier that you contested election for the Labour Party. Yes, replied the witness. And you lost that election. Yes, you are angry that you lost the election. I am here as an expert witness, replied the witness. You contested the primary election in the Labour Party House of Rep? Yes, I did. Did you win? Yes, I won. Did you go to court? Yes, I did. You sued INEC because they did not include your name on the register candidate final list published. Yes, I did. Your complaint in court is that you made so much attempt to upload your documents on the INEC server but could not because of the network. Yes, I did. Will you agree that network failure is also a glitch and the INEC server had glitches that day? No, I do not agree. In your affidavit in court, you said that the INEX site cramped. Yes, I did. If you don't know, say you don't. Are you aware that in 2017, the AWS had an outage of several hours on Tuesday, 28th of February, 2017? Yes, I am aware, replied the witness. Are you aware that as of 2021, AWS has been said to have suffered more than 27 outages? Yes, I am aware, and that is in the health status report. Hmm. So, guys, at this point, she was telling the Tinubu's lawyer that everything that has ever happened to the AWS is always stated in the health status report. The counsel to Tinubu continued, Madam, are you aware that Labour Party, your party, won election in 12 states and the FCT? Witness said, I am here as an expert witness and not as an election strategist replied the witness are you aware i cannot speak on matters that are in court replied the witness the whole court shouted hmm wow well done you could see that even the people in the court were hailing this lady she knew her stance she could articulate fast in giving you know the right answers to all these questions and the counsel to tinubu continued madam look at paragraph nine of your witness statement who won the election in your state where the Labour Party won? I cannot speak on that, replied the witness. And everyone started laughing. Hmm. Who is the president of the United States of America? Joe Biden is the president, replied the witness. And he contested against who? Hmm. Everyone started laughing again. And the lawyer to Tinubu S.A.N. Olani Kwekun started shouting, Who did he contest against? The witness said, I don't know. I am not here as an election expert. And that ended it as the counsel to Tinubu now went and took his seat. Oh my God. So guys, this was how, you know, this witness sent Tinubu's uh, lawyer back to his seat. Now it was time for the APC lawyer, counsel to the APC, S.A.N. Fagbemi. And he said to the witness, you did not on your own perform any investigation on the IREF. Paragraph 9 of my statement clearly stated that I conducted a preliminary investigation on the IREF, replied the witness. That is not my question, said the APC counsel. And at this point, the Labour Party counsel was up again on his feet and he said, She has answered you. And the counsel to APC continued and said, Witness, are you aware of the glitches during the election? There was no glitch recorded on the AWS on the 25th of February 2023, the witness replied. So guys, this was it. This is just what the judges want to know. Did anything happen? Is there any proof that something went wrong? So guys, this was where 
the witness countered the INEC claim that they had glitches. The health status report shows that there wasn't any glitch. The APC council continued, are you aware of the non-disclosure agreement of AWS with his customers? That's NDA. I am not aware what we have is service level agreement, replied the witness. Do you have a copy of this service level agreement between INEC and AWS? I have included a link to the agreement in my statement, replied the witness. I did not say a link. I said, do you have a copy? I have included the agreement in my statement and the link shows agreement between AWS and all parties, replied the witness. And at this point, Justice Samani cuts in and said, just answer the question. So guys, for me, I was not comfortable with this. Just answer the question. The lady has answered him and said, I have included a link so that you go and see it for yourself. And they want her to answer against her wish. I don't understand this point too by the presiding judge. Anyway, let's continue. And the witness replied and said, well, there is a general document that shows all agreements and that is included. The APC council said, thank you, thank you, expert. Are you aware that there will always be a past war protocol on who can modify or access the application? Which application? Asked the witness. The application you are talking about. Hmm, everyone started laughing. I do not work for INEX, so I do not have their password protocols, replied the witness. With AWS, no, not with AWS password protocol, replied the witness. The report you downloaded, did you use any password? No, replied the witness. You agree that you did not access the information with a password. Everything in my statement is publicly available. And the APC council finally concluded and said, I think we have had enough of you in this court. What is this? You are claiming to be an expert. Answer the question. Everyone shouted, ha. Ah. And the witness said, what's your question? You agree that you can use password to modify the app. I cannot speak to password protocols, replied the witness. And the APC council asked her again, are you aware of the JPAN brothers glitch on December 2nd, 2021? What I am aware of is the event on December 17, 2021, replied the witness. So you ran an election in Cross River? Yes. And you lost severally? That is incorrect. I lost once, replied the witness. So with the issue on December 2021 means another glitch can happen at any time? Anything can happen at any time, but not 25th February 2023. Wow. Yes nothing happened on that day because the health status has shown that so at this point the witness was now stepped down and the labor party lead council san levy is up on his feet and he announced that INEC has finally responded to the subpoena yesterday and the INEC representative is now up and at this point the labor party council san levy said to the INEC representative fumi you people have been running away from subpoena since 30th of may I am only here because you just served us yesterday. It was yesterday, replied Fumi. And the Labour Party Council asked her further, we requested for documents. When are we going to have it? I don't have documents here. They are in different states. And we will need to use logistics to bring them from various places as soon as possible. And the Labour Party Council replied and said, what is as soon as possible? What do you mean by as soon as possible? What is this? They have been running away since May, my lord, since completion of petition filed. And the presiding judge at this point said, so when will you provide the documents they need? The INEC representative for me said, we don't have them here. We will need logistics. And when they pay for it, we will provide them. The Labour Party Council said, what is that? We have paid. And the ones we paid for, we have not even fully received. If you provide the document today, we pay for them today. And what is that? What is that? Coming here to sound like we refuse to pay? If it's the money you are after, we will give you now. And when we give you now, you must give us the documents now, now. And the presiding judge came in and said, Livy, they said they don't have the document. And you are saying they should give you now. What is that? And the Labour Party councils at this time were seen 
talking to themselves and the judge and the presiding judge was not comfortable with that and he said Livy talk to your lawyers what is this why are they behaving like this murmuring in court and the Labour Party lead counsel SAN Livy said INEC refused to answer the subpoena even the court bailiff got tired of going to INEC to submit subpoena and they are all running away from service this conduct is the reason why we don't have the document and they cannot tell us that they cannot give us document today because they were served yesterday they were served since may hmm since they have ignored the subpoena all this while they cannot come here today and say they, they cannot produce the documents because they just collected the subpoena i want the documents today and at this point the labor party lead council said the court can order INEC so that we can present witness with documents oh my god honestly this is what the court is supposed to do they are supposed to force INEC to appear you can imagine the labor party councils having witness but they don't have the documents to back up their case you call the witness but the documents to back up whatever the witness is saying is not in court so guys this is it this is just one of the challenges that the labor party councils are facing and you can see it appears as if the judges are even siding the INEC people they are supposed to be very hard on INEC so that INEC can do the needful so guys this is Nigeria for you so at this point the labor party council SAN Levy continue we have more witnesses for today but no time the case has been adjourned to today being the 21st of june 2023 so guys this was how the proceeding for yesterday went the court should apply more pressure on INEC to provide them with these documents i mean they can't just be bringing witnesses then they don't have documents to back up their cases so guys that was how it all went yesterday at the election tribunal thanks for watching please subscribe and turn on the notification bell bye